Okay, well I discovered something new here. I've got my little uh, pulse motor um, lead switch job running on an earth battery. And this is the old telegraph system where they use zinc and copper. And I discovered if you increase the surface area by using something like a pot scrubber that's uh, galvanized and then a copper one, the surface area is enough on these two items here that you can get a pulse motor running and there's the standing voltage on the uh, the earth battery it's about half a volt let me stop this here I'll show you what the standing voltage is there's standing voltage on it right there at about half a volt I'll go ahead and start this up again here I'll let you listen to it with the radio here. Anyway, yeah, these little pot scrubbers, uh, one's galvanized and one's copper. Stainless steel won't work. You've got to use a galvanized steel, and that'll be your voltage on this. Uh, your little pulse motor's got to go very, very low amperage for it to work, but uh, it does do the job. And uh, this is the first time I actually put something in the ground. Now, I can bury that completely and put wires on it, and uh, I get the same result. So it's just probably what I'm going to do is just go ahead and bury those a foot down or at different elevations like a true uh, earth battery pointed north and south and uh, we'll see what kind of voltage uh, remains after the galvanized um, coating goes away and it's just steel and copper. This is the first time I've actually done an earth battery that worked. 